The Princess Mother สีนครินทราสมเด็จย่า The Royal Grandmother She was the royal mother of King Rama VIII, King Anantamahidon, and King Rama IX, King b h u m i p o n a d u n y a d e t Her husband was the prince father Mahitala Tibet a d u n y a d e t Vikram, the prince of Songkla, who was the royal son of King Rama V, King Chulalongkorn, and the queen mother s a w a n g w a t a n a Of course, she was exactly the paternal grandmother of King Rama X, King Mahavishura Longkorn. Today, let's get to know her better in details who she was and what she did for us Thai people in the past. Welcome to Ancient Tales Audio Books, where we keep tales alive and forever. The Princess Mother s i n a k r i n t r a s m d e t y a the Royal Grandmother. She was born on the 21st of October 1900 and passed away at the age of 94 on the 18th of July 1995. Her former name was Sangwan Talapat. She was one of the commoners like us as well until she got married to the Prince of Songkla, Mahidon Adunyadet. Then she was royally titled as Princess s i n a k r i n t r a later. When she was young, she was really intelligent and into studying and reading very much. At the age of seven, she was recommended to be one of the courtiers for the royal family in the palace, with Kun Chan z a n g s h u t o the relative and the nanny of the Princess of Pechaburi, w a l a i a l o n g k o n who was the elder sister of the Prince of Songkla, Mahidon a d u n y a d e t At the beginning of her royal court's life, she was only to present herself as an entourage. For the princess, w a l a i a l o n g k o n twice a day, morning and evening, until Yang s a n g w a n t a l a p a t enters the Three Vitya School and stays with Kun Huan Hong Skun, who was the nanny of the prince Mahidon a d u n y a d e t Once she was having an accident by the sewing needle puncture in her palm, she was sent to Priya d a m r o n g p a t a y a k u n the court physician, for an image surgery. He sensed the feeling of an unhappiness from her. He asked her if she would be interested in studying nursing. Yang s a n g w a n t a l a p a t answered at once that she would be. In 1913, she successfully enrolled as a student of Sirira School of Midwifery and Nursing at the age of 13, which was two years below the minimum requirement. But the school admitted her on the strengths and her qualifications. She was a scholarship student who monthly received 15 Thai baht for her expenses. She had agreed to join the nursing team of Sirira Hospital after the graduation in 1916. Later on, she had also received a scholarship for studying further in the U.S. at Harvard University, together with Kun Ubon p a l a k a w o n g n a Ayutthaya and the Prince of Songkla, Mahidon Adunyadet. Once Prince Mahidon had firstly met Miss Sangwan Talapat, he was very pleased by her beauty, personality, and attitude. He wrote a letter to the Queen Mother s a w a n g w a t a n a for a blessing on his proposal to engage with Miss Sangwan Talapat, who later had been given a new name and designation as Mom Sangwan Songkla. After their royal marriage, which had actually taken place at Sapatum Palace on the 10th of September 1920, until the 5th of June 1929, when King Rama VII, King Prachatipok, had announced in the National Gazette that all of the inheritance from King Rama V's prince had to be surnamed properly with Rajasakun or the king's surname. Thereby, Mom Sangwan Songkla had been given the new surname and designation as Mom Sangwan Mahidon n a i t h y a The royal marriage was followed by a visit to various European countries before the couple eventually returned to the U.S. Prince Mahidon resumed his studies in public health at Harvard and at Massachusetts Institute of Technology or MIT in Boston, and arranged for his wife to take a preparatory course for nursing at Simmons College, where she studied chemistry and nutrition. Upon passing the test at the end of the semester, she went on to studying school health at MIT. Entering in the summer semester, once she completed her studies here in the U.S., she went back to London, England, and gave birth to her first daughter, Her Serene Highness or Mom Chao Kalyani Watana Mahidon, on the 6th of May 1923, who later had been royally given the higher noble ranks and titles as Her Royal Highness Princess Kalyani Watana, the Princess of Narathiwa r a c h a n a k a r i n In October 1923, three of them came back to Siam as per the invitation of King Rama VI, King w a s h u r a w u t On having Prince Mahidon, his elder brother, to accept the noble role as a general director of the university department, after 20 months in Siam, Prince Mahidon was unwell and advised by the doctor to relocate himself to a colder place. Then he moved to Heidelberg, Germany, while Mom Sangwan was having the second pregnancy and delivered her first son, His Serene Highness a Mom Chao Ananta Mahidon Mahidon, on the 20th of September 1925. Who later on had been crowned as His Majesty the King Rama VIII, King Ananta Mahidon, on the 2nd of March 1935 at the age of nine, the eighth king on the throne of Chakri Dynasty. 
until the 5th of December 1927, Mom Sang Wan had the third pregnancy and delivered her second son, His Royal Highness Prince Pumipon Adunyadet, who later on had been crowned as His Majesty the King Ramanai, King Pumipon Adunyadet, on the night of June 1946, after the death of his elder brother, King Anantamahidon, the ninth king on the throne of the Kri dynasty. In that particular year, 1927, Prince Mahidon Adunyadet was beset with the kidney problems during his last year at medical school. Despite chronic health problems, he managed to graduate with honors. Immediately after his finals, he suffered from acute appendicitis requiring immediate surgery. As soon as he was well enough to travel, he and his family went to Europe again for an extended stopover, returning eventually to Siam in 1928 and taking up residency at Sapatum Palace. Prince Mahidon died on the 24th of September 1929, there at the age of 37. After the death of her husband, her life was tremendously changed again on the 2nd of March 1935. Since her first son, Prince Ananta Mahidon was invited to ascend the throne right after King Rama VII, King Prashatipok's abdication. Therefore, she had to move to the bigger residence in Puyi City, which was close to Lausanne, Switzerland, and named it as Villa Watana to honor her son's graces as the eighth king on the throne of Chakri dynasty. Later on, the 16th of November 1938, the Council of King Anantamahidon's regent had an announcement to honor her in the higher noble rank of the royal family. She was royally titled as Her Royal Highness Princess Mother Si Sangwan until the 9th of June 1970 that her royal name and designation had changed again to Her Royal Highness Princess Mother Si Nakrintara or Sumdetya, the royal grandmother of Thailand. Princess Mother Sinakrintra was doing a lot of royal duties as the king's regent. Her interests were helping people to have a better quality of lives, especially those who were in the remotest areas, suffering from poverty, lacking education and health services. Even the border patrol police who act as guides and also provide security for her on the trips to Puping Palace, Chiang Mai province, were very poorly paid and received no per diem supplement for the services rendered over the above normal duties. Her observation of the precarious economic situations of the rural areas prompted the princess mother to make regular visits to the remotest areas of the kingdom, starting in 1964. One of the princess mother's educational initiatives was the Border Patrol Police School project. A school had been set up by the Border Patrol Police Regent 5 in the Daurarasmi camp in Marim district, Chiang Mai province. The school provided access to education for children from remote regions, giving huge trapped children a chance to learn the Thai language and cultures, and installing in them a sense of being Thai. The concept was in line with the princess mother's own philosophy that education was the key to improving human resources. She therefore took a school under her royal patronage in 1964 and donated funds to the border patrol police to set up similar schools in other remote areas. In addition to the princess mother, the health and well-being of her people were high on the list of priorities. The philosophy echoed that of her husband, Prince Mahidon Adunyadet, who had plagued his mental, physical and financially support to the field of public health of the country. She continued to play a major role in the field of nursing in Thailand. She founded the Thailand Nursing Association, of which she was also a board member. With her fund, the first national nursing convention in Thailand was organized in 1960. Hospital buildings and nursing schools were built with her pretonage. In 1964, at the age of 64, she hiked to the trap of Doi Intanon, Thailand's highest peak in Chiang Mai province. She had been used to hiking from Puping Palace, accompanied by border control police and two physicians. Soon she felt that she had covered all she could within the immediate vicinity and yearned the conquered Doi Intanon, which was visible from the palace windows. In those days, there was no access road to the top. So the princess mother spent two nights camping out during her hike, the first night at Pang Sumdet and the following night at Ban Pa Mon. A large number of Hill tribe villagers turned up to welcome her. The tribe's people's lack of access to medical care concerned her. When she returned the following year, she brought with her two physicians, and her visit to these remote areas by helicopter eventually earned her the name Ma Fa Luang among the Hill tribes, meaning royal mother from the sky, refilling her arrival by helicopter with physicians, nurses, medicines, foods, and clothes. In 1969, she established the first medical volunteer mobile unit in Chiang Mai province called the Princess Mother Medical Volunteers. The team was made up of doctors, dentists, pharmacists, nurses, and health officers who volunteered that time on weekends to treat the ill and offer consultative services to the public free of charge. Lastly, on the 21st of October 2000, 
the 100 year anniversary of Somdetya, the royal grandmother's birthday. She had received such a noble honor as one of the world's most important persons from UNESCO, which has announced on that particular day since then. These mentions here were just a part of her biography and royal graces, which we are talking about in 2021. Hopefully, more or less, we all new Thai generations would appreciate the greatest things that the Princess Mother Sina Krintra, the royal grandmother of Thailand, and other ancestors have done for us. We have one of the most trustable medical and health services in the world. We are safe and sound in our own country without anyone having successfully taken or colonized before. We also have our own language to be used as native. We have tons of precious stuff to be proud of, so please be appreciative on what we have. We are luckier than others very much, trust me. Thank you for watching Ancient Tales audiobooks where we keep tales alive and forever. Please do subscribe, like, share and put the bell notification on. Then you will not miss any of the new episodes. Bye for now and have a good day.